Hey Mouse Gang, I deleted all the YouTube shorts on the channel and the reason why is because we need to monetize the channel and I'm struggling to get those watch hours and you know, YouTube shorts, it might be good for the vanity of getting quick subscribers, but actually getting them to be retained as an audience member and watch the long form videos where the money is actually made, well, we're not able to get that, you know, those requirements, that watch time and and um you know youtube shorts is it's not effective for me and i don't know what your experience is with it but a lot of people have been claiming that it's also not effective for them unless they're already an established channel and then they post youtube shorts but the optimistic side that i have for youtube shorts is this it's not really about youtube shorts actually it's it's just more general if you have to recalibrate because your business isn't doing well or something like that. Even if there are parts of the business that have caused failure, like I've had to close down my photography business. It was not a brick and mortar place. It was a, you know, freelance business that I had. But the experience that I gained, it stays with me. You know, I still know how to do photography, retouching, editing, video. Um, and all the, the skills that I learned from doing YouTube shorts, being spontaneous, filming in public. Um, I do all those things for long form videos too. But um, that experience that I gained by doing YouTube shorts, just cause I'm getting rid of the YouTube shorts side of my channel and I'm technically losing part of my channel by doing like that, by getting rid of my YouTube shorts. I just wanna tell you that if you're experiencing that with YouTube or in your day-to-day -day life where you're like, dang, I failed. Just because you fail on something doesn't mean that the experience that you gained is invalidated or something. Like, you still have that experience, you still have that knowledge, you could still talk in public and perform more, better, all these things because you have that experience. It's like if you painted a million paintings and then for some reason, there's like a flood and then the paintings get ruined. Unfortunately, you would lose the paintings, right? And you wouldn't want to because they're your paintings, but you would still know how to paint. You would still know how to do that again and you would come at it with, you know, positive optimistic energy and start over and be like, you know what? I don't have my old paintings, but I can repaint them in a better way it's like Bob Proctor, he was writing a book and he effing lost the book that he was writing on paper, handwriting. He lost it in a taxi and then his wife was like sad for him or something like that. And then he said like, oh no, it's okay. Like, I'm not gonna be frustrated. If I lost the book, then it wasn't meant to be put out like that and I'll just rewrite it and he rewrote it and it became like a bestseller or something. So the YouTube shorts, all those things, all those stories that I've told on YouTube shorts, I'll just re redo them for, um, you know, long form. And every time you tell a story, I think you get to the core of the story more effectively. It becomes a better story. I'm not saying to lie and embellish stories, but what I am saying is that um, storytelling is a skill and just because some videos didn't work for you or something like that doesn't mean that they're never going to work for you. Um, tell the story again. Don't lose the excitement in your heart for telling people who you are and what you love and um, sharing your authentic life with the world. Everyone wants to be a Hollywood star. Everyone wants to look a certain way. Um, or do things a certain way sometimes, but the truth is that there are people in this world waiting for you to be your authentic self so that they can connect with you. They don't want to connect with a Hollywood star. They don't want to connect with some person that has billions of dollars, even though that seems very glamorous and cool. They're looking to connect with you, and so you got to protect that part of yourself, um, what makes you special. It's the golden football that you run through life with and you got to make it to the end zone, if that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm not perfect at sports, but you got to protect what makes you you and um, shine. Anyway, 
comment, subscribe, tell us what you think, and I'll talk to you later, Mouse Gang.